shall I say, rude awakening for many this morning. My gosh, everyone's boom. talking about the frost. The Bang. frost quake goes boom. I wish I heard. Did you hear? No. I didn't I hear I any either. One. I sleep too deeply. <gasps> I mean, where's, so I. where's Julia? <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy, get, Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New, can we get a microphone for, for Julia? Uh, uh, because <laughs> our, our camera up behind here, she uh, she heard the, she the heard frost quake this morning. Just, well, we just got the mic over. Everybody's there tweeting about it from all over the place. It's widespread. What, what was it like? It was loud. I was. I thought I did something wrong. I was walking <laughs> out of my house. I closed my door. All yours. Boom! I'm like, my mom's gonna kill me. Like, what did I do? <laughs> but I'm like, wait, did somebody break into my house? I went to look for uh, footprints to see if. Yeah. Uh, P people were bit. <laughs> police were busy all night because people were reporting somebody's breaking into my house. Uh, people thought it was earthquakes. Some people thought, like, people thought pianos had fallen on their house. That was one. one people are saying it's like, sky. like cannons. It sounds like cannons are going off intermittently. It's wild. This is very, very rare. It happened on Christmas. Christmas Eve, I think. Christmas as well. Eve, yeah. yeah. But it's very rare. What happens? So it's it's because of that quick drop in the temperature. So from the weekend to this week, where we start to cool off, that quick drop in the temperature, all of that water into the ground freezes up and then that's what expands the ground and causes that boom factor. Wow. So that's why you're hearing it's the ground essentially breaking underneath. So that's what makes that huge noise. Are you, Cryosisms. Cryosisms. Because it makes you want to cry when you hear them. What is this? So we have to hear this whenever we talk about it. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Hey, Kat, you don't have facial hair. You noticed. <laughs> yeah. Everyone noticed yesterday as it well. It looks good. What's the feedback? Uh, Positive. Positive. People were saying didn't like it anyway. I mean, people are always telling me they loved it, and, and then know. once you, you get rid of it, it's polarizing. It's like, I didn't like it anyway. The important thing <laughs> is that they care. They care. They care about the hair on your chinny chin chin. That's what matters, right? Yeah, that's a big concern for a lot of people. You know? <laughs> How did we go from frostquake to that? I don't know, but we just did. Mother Nature, I've got some words for you, but I can't share them on this show. <laughs> but you didn't hear it. I didn't hear it, but it's been so cold. Yeah, and then you get the frost quakes, and then there's the power outages. I mean, it's yeah, been a rough been winter. A rough winter. Uh, by the way, City of Toronto residents, put your branches out by the curb. Uh, they will be picked up and, and disposed of as long as they are less than 15 centimeters in diameter. So, so something about about what's that? About that 15? Big, yeah. about, that, about that big? Yo, yay big! But you know the that. grocery checkout like uh, express aisle when you sometimes squeeze in the 13 items instead of the 10? <laughs> I hope you are not that person. But I'm that person. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But you know, I'm just saying. I'm okay. Does that not qualify? Are I'm they gonna get out the stick for each one and measure? I'm okay the with a 13 instead of 10. It's when you get to 20 items instead of 10. Yeah. It's just rude. It is. Sometimes <laughs> my husband goes there with like 20, and I'm like, it says one to eight, and he's like, it's fine. But it's what fine. if they're easily it's checked out items, like the barcode <laughs> items, as opposed to the oh, is this a, um, a kumquat no. or is it a <laughs> is it a plum? Has you the know? cashier ever said anything to you? Because that happened to it, me once. I've yes, never been told. She said it's it's Christmas, so I'm gonna let this slide. Same but, thing. <laughs> wow, I'm yeah. gonna let it slide. But what would she? What? what would she have I don't done? Know, if... Told me to go to another line. Yeah, and they wait. could. They can send you she anywhere. Could do that. I only did it because there was no line, and I didn't yeah. realize I was in an express line, or that sure. was my story, and I was sure. sent to it. No, but there was no line. Yeah. The other thing, the other thing too, that's becoming a, a new phenomenon now with, with in grocery stores with the self checkout. Yeah. Is people who go to the self checkout with a full. Overloaded shopping cart. Yeah, yeah. It's the worst. It, because it takes way too long. But go it's their go right. to a counter. I know it's their right, but go to a counter. And it keeps go to beeping a counter. because it's not working and says, see attendant, see attendant. The attendant is oh, there too much. I'd yes. rather just use the attendant. Yes. Or, or, or it's someone like getting in, into a line at Tim Hortons at the drive thru, and the person in front of you is like, okay, I want 12 <laughs> coffees. Uh, let me see, make That's six me. of them regulars, then I want cream, no sugar in two yeah. of them, then I want, and also the bagel, <laughs> lightly buttered, yeah. uh, all it, half all, toasted. Yeah, and, and could I also, <laughs> no, no, go inside. <laughs> I did that once at Taco Bell when I worked at the McMichael Art Gallery in Kleinberg. For 25 staffers. Oh. Wow. Through a drive through. One through. soft taco supreme, one hard taco, no meat beans instead. Oh, yeah, it went on for quite some time. Seven o'clock <laughs> on Breakfast <laughs> Television. Good morning. We take our hats.